the talking today that we don't get enough calcium and vitamin D, and that probably affects teeth to some degree. Is that true? Yes. Uh, basically, the, the thing that houses the teeth is the bones. And if there is a problem with the bones that hold the teeth, it can affect the periodontal or the gum health of the teeth. So they're actually talking about supplementing with extra vitamin D in the diet because they have done tests showing that most people have an adequate amount of vitamin D level in the body. Either sunlight exposure has been greatly diminished because of the fear of getting cancer or the diets have not been adequate. So now they're talking a little bit about supplementing. Do you think kids should get supplementary vitamins at a young age, maybe to guarantee a better source of vitamin D? Yes, that would be good because vitamin D plays an important role in the metabolism of the gums and that's that's an important thing. Uh, if you have a minor infection in the gums and you don't have the proper nutrition for metabolism, it's going to be a bigger problem. In fact, this raised the requirement to double what it was in the past because they found it was not the right answer. So even doctors learned from the past and they make better decisions now. Mm -hmm. So if you go think of vitamin D, you said milk has sugar in it, yet milk is the most common source people getting their calcium. Uh, so there's a, a plus and a minus with the milk, is that true? Well, the, the milk is only a problem when it's in the oral cavity for extended periods of time. Having milk on its own is not an unhealthy thing. It is simply a matter of washing it out, having some water after the milk. And that would allow for the milk to not have a chance to, to create the decay. If you drank a lot of sugar something, fruit juices, whatever it is, if you rinsed your mouth with some water afterwards, that would reduce the negative effect or something? Yes, anything you could do on a regular basis, try to find something to reduce the amount of time that sugars are kept in the mouth. And increasing the slide by chewing on something might help, uh, as you mentioned, sugar-free gum sometimes is a good way. So that's a good preventative measure down the road. Yes, the gum actually creates salivation and the saliva holds a host of protective mechanisms that, that protect the teeth.